What's going on guys? I see this mistake happen all the time. It's probably one of the biggest mistakes AMs do, if not the biggest. Now the reason I thought of this video today was because I talked to a fan today and he pretty much reminded me how hard it is to become pro and how a lot of amateurs struggle to become pro. It triggered in my memory that I remember back in the day I would struggle, you know, back in the day I wanted to become pro. Back in the day I would grind every day to try to make this dream come true. So I'm here to give you guys today a reminder and remember don't make this big mistake that I did. Now of course I think I did a lot of things right. I think I was a very talented player. I think I did a lot of correct steps that helped me become pro a lot faster than others and I'm going to be talking about a few of those things right now. But number one, the one thing you always got to remember, a pro most pros were once an amateur. Just think about that for a second. I want you to think about that just for one second. Three weeks later, many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. It's crazy to think about, right? Even though Form was a Halo pro, he was an amateur in Call of Duty for a second. Even though Scumpy is a Call of Duty pro now, and back in the day, he was an amateur for a couple a year or a month or something. Every single pro player, almost, uh, some pro players were pretty much at birth started at Call of Duty, but if they weren't, they were amateurs at one point in the game. Now, I think the first thing you got to remember is the fact that it's never going to be easy. For some people, it's gonna be easier. For others, it's gonna take longer. Some people may, might take a year to become pro. Like, for a good example, Temp, Huke, they, they were barely known in Black Ops 2, or I mean in Ghost, boom, out of nowhere, AW, they become like freaking amazing and uh, they just got their name around fast. Now for other players, it may take two, three years. Some people have been playing for since probably Black Ops 2 and still aren't pro. It takes time, guys. It's not going to be the same for everyone. You guys got to remember that. I think the biggest thing is the biggest mistake amateurs do is one, they get unmotivated. A lot of amateurs, when they first want to become pro, they're very extremely, extremely motivated. They want to become pro. They have this dream in their head. They want to pursue it. You know, they're grinding every day. They're playing a lot. But once you start to not see results, it hits them in the head. Fuck, I'm never going to go pro, bro. I suck. No, man, don't think of it that way. It isn't easy. If it was easy, like I said in a video a long time ago, everybody would be pro. It isn't easy, it's, it's not as easy as it seems. Amateurs, they've been grinding for a while, they get demoralized, they don't know what to do anymore. If you're young, if you're like 15, 16, 17, guess what? You're in a lucky ass position. I would, I, I wish I started becoming, I became a pro like around 17, which I guess it's a pretty good age, but the Call of Duty scene wasn't that good back then. If the Call of Duty, Call of Duty scene continues to grow and you're only 16, 17, Shit, I would, I would wish I'm in your position because this is only going to get bigger. You're in a good spot right now. Now all it's going to take is for you to grind, get your ass. I was going to, I was going to say off the chair and go, but it, technically, if you're if you're playing video games, you're going to be get your ass in the chair, fucking grind, for, perfect your mistakes, and go harder. You know, it shouldn't be like, hey, I'm I'm not getting results. I'm going to start giving up. I'm demoralized. I'm unmotivated. It should be like this. Hey, I'm not doing anything. Nothing's going my way. Let that fuel, let that fire you. Let that motivate you more. It's how bad do you want it? Every single time you think, I'm not going anywhere. This is not getting better. Every time you feel down, just remember why you did it in the first place. Maybe you want, you want to become a pro because you need some money. You know, you're in a very hard place. Maybe your parents aren't very wealthy. Or maybe this is what you do for fun and you love it. It, it, it makes your day. It, it just makes you happy. Or maybe, you know, you've been trying to do this since the beginning of time. This is your dream. This is what you want to do. Always remember what fueled you in the first place. Always go back to that origin. Always remember why you did it in the first place. And let that fuel you. Let that motivate you to keep going. That's what I do every single day. I've been down before. I've been in shitty teams. I've been in shitty situations. I've... I'm, I'm still doing YouTube even with like minimum no to no growth, but you know what? I remember every single day every time I started to get de uh, demoralized Yeah, you know what for a day maybe day or two I might be demoralized I mean I might be unmotivated, but I still fucking keep it going I still push myself because I remember why I wanted to do this in the first place I remember what pushed me to do this in the first days. I'm on the fucking pursuit of happiness and I will get it no matter what a lot of you amateur players are extremely talented. I see it every single day. The biggest problem when it, become, when it comes to becoming pro or semi-pro is exposure. And a lot of you guys don't have that. And it's very hard to obtain that, especially if you're not that big in the scene. You know, the best way of doing it is like play tournaments. You know, tournaments or wagers are the best way to kind of get your name out there, especially if you do very good. And I know you struggle with that, but trust me, guys, a lot of you are talented. Like I said, a lot of you guys, like some of you guys skill, like I can see you being better than certain pros. Like it's insane. It's just exposed. It comes back to Day, like I said, exposure, and that's just something you have to do. 
you have to make a name for yourself, guys. That's what a lot of those pro players did, and it, it wasn't hard, you know? It's all about timing, some luck, and skill. So please, guys, a lot of you are fucking talented. Don't give up. Chase your damn dreams. Always remember what fueled you in the first place. Because I have nothing but love and respect for the game. And I know a lot of you guys are like, are just like me. And a lot of you guys want to become pro. A lot of you guys want to become better. And this is what you love to do. Like, this is what I love to do. And I don't want you guys throwing it away. I don't want you guys getting demoralized. I don't want you guys to quit. Because that's just going to hold you back. If not, never let you get to the place you wanted to get in the first place. If you want to become a pro, if that's your dream, if you quit, even for a year, that's holding you back for a whole year that you could have played. If you're too young to play in the CWO now, if you're 16, 17, who cares? You're still young. Fucking play. Practice. Get your game up. Get your... Get your your social media up just work until next game you know in a year or two you're gonna be able to play guess what by then you're gonna have a name for yourself it's gonna be a lot easier don't just think oh look i'm i'm 16 i'm 17 i'm just gonna chill bro i'm, I'm just gonna chill because there's no reason for me to play i was like that once and unless you have a very busy life and you have a girlfriend or something then i can kind of understand you know you cool it more but if this is what you want to do and you don't have like a, a lot of responsibilities i would recommend you to keep grinding keep playing you know, it's it's never, it's a non-stop grind. That's all it is. Especially when it comes to perfecting your craft, your skill. Remember that. Either way, guys, I just wanted to get a motivational one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys because I, I thought it was very important to get, today to get my point across and really remind you guys, you know, why you wanted to do in the first place. You know, I hope I inspired a lot of you guys because trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm motivated every single day and I'm not quitting yet and I don't plan to anytime soon. So don't do the same, please. Stick with me, fam. <clears throat> this has been your boy Apti. Have a good day, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. Peace out.